Hi. This is a video from the Crawley Fish family, and I am going to do a video kind of detailing the different types of fish that we have in our community tank. Um, we've done just several hours of research, so I mean hours, more like days of research, uh, before we have gotten to this point of what type of fish get along, what type don't, and there's a lot of different things that you can find as far as sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, for the most part, for us, everything in our tank gets along very well. Um, the biggest issues we have, like that right there, are when the fish that we have of the same species are um, kind of picking on each other, which is a very common trait amongst several different types of fish, like the severums or the angels or the gouramis. Um, they're going to assert dominance um, within the species to, you know, until they determine who is the dominant one in the tank. Um, but as far as between the species, I mean, everything in our tank, as far as we can tell, um, so far really gets along. Um, so we'll get into it. We've got, we'll start with the angels. We've got 10 angel fish in here. Um, we have seven koi angel fish, two black angel fish, and we have, there's one right there, um, and we have one platinum angel fish. I'm not really sure where the platinum one is right now. Um, we have three sword tails, uh, which is that one right there. And we have several mollies. I think, I think it's like 10 or 12. I'm not completely sure um, anymore. I used to have a count of it. Um, but we have balloon mollies, um, like that one right there. And then we have, um, like that one right there, we have the regular mollies, fly tail mollies. And the molly is the only species that we have of the fry, which is, there's one right there. Oh, two of them, that one, the clear one back there, I hope you can see it. Um, which we have about five, I think, is what we've kind of counted, but they're difficult to find, of course, being so small, and they purposefully hide in the plants, so it can be very difficult to find them. Um, and we're really crossing our fingers, since we do have pretty decent plants for them to hide in as they're growing, but it is difficult for eggs or fry to survive in a community tank, and we know that, um, but we, we're certainly hoping. We have garamis. Ah, that's not a garami. There you go. I don't want to confuse anybody. There's one of our garamis right there. Um, there's the other one over there. And then let's go back to this goldfish right here. It's a beautiful severum. Um, and we have three severums. And we know that they're going to get quite large. There's the beast. He's the biggest fish that we currently have in our tank. He's also a severum. Um, and he, uh, as far as severums go, is still pretty small. So he's going to get much larger. Um, they, Koi Angel just wants to get right up in there. Um, but yeah, he's, we call him the beast right now, even though he's still kind of small. Um, let's see, what else do we have? 
course we have the tetras back there the blue neon tetras and over there we've got the black neon tetras we also have the silver tip tetras which there's one of course there in the center um, and if I were to guess, educated guess, guess, um, I would say we have approximately 15 to 20 Tetra total in the tank. Um, and then we have clown loaches, which I hope one of them would come out. Let's see if I can find one back there. Um, oh, well. The clown loaches tend to also not come out on camera except for, I think I found a couple. There they are. We have six of the clown loaches. You know they're gonna get pretty large too. Everything in our tank right now is on the smaller side. Oh, there's one of the sword tails. All right, so the only thing that has not come out for the camera at all is the pleco. Try to give him another minute. See if I can see him. Nice shot of the coys, coy angels we have. All right. Well, I'm gonna go pause the video for a minute and see. I really could sit here and watch the tank, and I do. Just like you would watch a TV show. I'll sit here and watch the tanks from around. Um, Alright, let me see if I can find the Pleco. We have a bristle nose Pleco right there. And he's still kind of small, but he's, he's much bigger than when we got him. He was just a little thing. So he's probably grown, I mean, at least an inch and a half since we've got him. Um, and he's the only Pleco that we have. And there he goes awesome he's the only pleco that we have in the tank um but i mean he he keeps it pretty clean um we don't really have too many algae issues at all but yeah he's he's definitely much bigger than when we first got him